And I think the complaint that I hear most from mom or dad is that they feel they're too busy to exercise, you know. Yeah. So, so what kind of tips would you give to such parents, you know, especially during this you know, COVID period when a lot of us have to stay at home and, and maybe the gym is closed? Yeah, sure. Um, I would say I have three pieces of advice. Hi, everyone, and welcome to this special sharing session with my good friend, Icy Lin. So a super fit mum, which I you know, really couldn't uh, give up the opportunity to, to invite her today. Hi, everyone. My name is Icy. Yes, yes. So basically, as you know, uh, you know, my wife and I created uh, Stay Young Parents basically as a way, as a community for parents to help parents. You know, firstly, uh, obviously on the health and fitness level and for them to look younger and feel better, but also to make them, you know, have more opportunity to be more free to spend time with the family. So knowing that you're a super fit mom, you know, as I mentioned, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to invite you to share with us uh, your views, you know, on this mission that we have, uh, both from a health and fitness point of view, but even more importantly, from a parent's perspective, you know, because I think often that is sort of the more difficult uh, obstacle that many you know, of us, of us mm -hmm. parents that face here. Uh, so, you know, a brief introduction uh, for IC, for those who don't know her. Uh, she's a proud mum of uh, a little boy now. Uh, she used to be a former banker at uh, JP Morgan, uh, but now has chosen to teach yoga full-time uh, at Pure, you know, for almost four years now. So for those outside of Asia, uh, that's one of the largest fitness companies in Asia. Uh, and also she's most recently also started her own uh, entrepreneurial uh, adventures. Uh, you know, she's a fully qualified yoga uh, and Pilates teacher uh, and a personal trainer as well. Okay, so let's uh, jump straight in, you know, to the first question, right? Um, you know, I, I guess we should learn a bit more about you uh, to start off with. You know, what I would say, sure. um, you know, it, it's hard to tell, you know, looking at you nowadays, but I would imagine that, uh, you know, there was a time before that, you know, you were maybe less feared and more of a layman like us. Like, when did you start realizing that you wanted to improve your health and fitness and why? Yeah, sure. Um... So uh, thank you, Mitchell, for, in, for inviting me. And um, it's a little bit embarrassing to say that I'm super fit because after Chinese New Year, you know, everybody <laughs> eats a lot. Yeah. So I'm becoming less fit as well um, and still trying to get back to the normal diet after this crazy um, Chinese festival. Okay. Um, yeah, so when I, when I started working at the first year after graduation, um, enter the banking world and then every day is just working such a long hours. I would say for the first four years, I didn't do any exercises mm. when I just joined the workforce. And then because of the long hours, I started to have very bad shoulder and neck pain mm -hmm. as well as lower back pain. And I also just always eat food outside, right? Sometimes breakfast, lunch, and dinner all on the walking desk with mm -hmm. unhealthy food that I bought, like fast food type of food from outside. Very I also started to feel the whole body is in a suboptimal state. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I also gained weight, obviously, compared right. to right after college education. So it's, it's such a, a, a uh, coincidence back then that in 2012, I remember some of the colleagues on my uh, in my office on my floor, they started to come up with this weight loss competition. Right, right. So yeah, so I was like, oh, maybe I should join them and finally make a transformation of my body back to the younger <laughs> days. So I started joining this competition and the goal is not to compete with others, but compete with yourself to mm. lose 8% of your body weight. So I started to be very mindful of what I eat and started to try all kinds of exercises, yoga, you know, running, boxing, steam myself in the sauna for 20 minutes just to get all the excess water out, yeah. um, all this kind of thing. Um, so for that three months, I was converting myself into like a very mm. uh, spotty person again. Um, and ever since then, I have been keeping um, on track of my uh, exercises and mm. diet as well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a that's a fantastic start. You know, uh, we all got to start somewhere, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, look, you know, I think today we we really want to pick your brain and your expertise, and you know, there's a lot of areas, but I think we should focus on uh, the three key areas, which I think are you know sort of the fundamental 
uh, to the parents health and fitness and their body shape and I would say that you know their number one uh, exercise uh, number two healthy eating uh, and then number three yeah. uh, nutritional supplements which you know helping us with anti-aging so you know let, let's start off with the exercise first which you know you are the total expert in right and I think the complaint that I hear most from uh, you know whether the perspective of a mom or a dad is that they feel they're too busy to exercise you know yeah. So, so what kind of tips would you give to such parents, you know, especially during this you know, COVID period when a lot of us have to stay at home and, and maybe the gym is closed? Yeah, sure. Um, I would say I have three pieces of advice. And the number one is don't feel guilty when you want to spend mm. some time doing exercise by yourself. Um, don't always prioritize your kids over you, especially after you spend so much time after work. And the reason being, yes. it's not sustainable. Like you mm -hmm. want to be healthy. You want to be healthy for a really long time to see your kids grow up, become, mm -hmm. you know, adults, right? Yeah. So um, it's really important that you take care of yourself and then love yourself first um, before make sure that your body conditions is in good state so that you can take care of your kids better. Yeah. Um, so I, I went through the stage that I feel guilty as well, but then I just realized when my body is not healthy, even if I play with my son, I feel less patient when I play with him. I feel less focused. I feel less energetic. Mm. But if I work out myself and then I play with him, I'm much more focused, much more energetic and much more patient as well, which is highly appreciated by him yeah. as well, right? <laughs> because he doesn't want a, 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 a grumpy mom. And then second thing is when you do exercise at home or when you do exercises with young kids at home, you just need to be a little bit more flexible. You mm. cannot say I need to have 90 minutes or even two hours just to do workout without anybody disturbing me. Mm. Even 10 minutes heat workout, high intensity interval workout mm. Mm. will be quite effective. You know, um, you can just do like some quick push up, some quick jumpy, some quick uh, some quick burpee and jump squat, anything is fine. Just be more flexible. Um, five minutes is workout, 10 minutes is workout, 30 mm -hmm. minutes is a workout. Um, just be flexible about the expectations. Yeah. And then um, don't always be so dogmatic about the length of the exercises. Mm -hmm. It's about the consistency, um, whether you can do it every day. And mm -hmm. then third thing is, which I really... Um, I really like my way of pushing this through and I started to see some progress and the fruits, mm -hmm. which I'm really happy is you can do exercise with your kids, mm. right? Um, and there's different ways, depends on how old your kids are. So my son is already four years old. And then last year, because we spent so much time homeschooling, I tried to push him to do exercise with me, even if seven minutes, 10 minutes, or sometimes 30 minutes, if he has the patience yeah. um, to do it together, we'll just follow some videos together, mm -hmm. YouTube, mm -hmm. you know, kids workout, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then you just do it together. At the beginning, he was a little bit um, unwilling to do because he just <laughs> want to play toys on the side. But then as long as you say, this is like our bonding time, let's do it together, let's do it together. After a while, maybe like two to three weeks, oh, okay. and you started to see some um, difference. Like he started to try harder. Mm. And then I will take videos of him. He will ask me, am I going to post it to Instagram? <laughs> like, am I going to post it on the Chinese version of Instagram? Um, um, is everybody seeing him? And then he started to feel really motivated. Right. Um, and then now he actually will ask me, like, should we do exercise today? Shall we do our thing wow. today? Um, so I find this is perfect. I get mm. to do, do my exercise. <laughs> I mean, I can play with him and he's doing his exercise. So it's healthy for him too. So it's like perfect, right? Yeah, yeah I mean, that. wow, that sounds fantastic. It's really, really yeah, exactly. I, I totally agree with you on that point that, um, you know, I mean, I think I, I went through that phase as well where, you know, just feeling guilty to spend time for myself and even for exercise, yeah. which, you know, is so important for health. Yeah. Um, you know, what I found is that uh, just scheduling, you know, this time, you know, even if it's very short, 15 minutes, uh, schedule it in in your day so that, um, you know, be because if you don't schedule it in, it often you're like, oh, I've got, you know, I need to do this or, you know, I need to shower or whatever, you know, need to go to bed. And then it, you very easily give up on it, right? But if you put it into your calendar, you know, and a fixed date, fixed time, um, then you're more, sh more sure to be able to stick to that.
you know, mm. that's that's been my experience. Um, so I remember last time. So I think this bonding with the kids is is fantastic because you're yeah. like hitting two birds with the one stone, right? Yeah, exactly. Um, and I remember last time you explained to me about uh, you know persistence and and consistency is, is one of or discipline is one of the keys to to keeping that up because I think a lot of parents have you know, will have tried to do exercise mm. with their kids, mm. right? But uh, maybe a lot of them, what they feel like is that, um, you know, I I'm trying to do exercise, you're getting in the way, right? Or, you know, yeah, exactly. You know, not, not cooperating, et cetera. So, yeah. you know, um, you know, I suppose what, what would you be your suggestion there for how to make that smoother and, and be able to mm. just... Yeah, sure. Um, so my son always likes to sit on my back when I try to do push up or forearm plank or whatever, right? Yeah. So I will usually just let him sit. So yeah. I will just reduce the difficulty <clears throat> of the pose. Like for example, yeah. you can't do full push up, then you just do knees down and push up. If you can't do knees down push up, just let him sit on your back and then you try to crawl a little bit. Yeah. Or you try to do a wall sit position, you know, lean back to the wall, bend your knees and sit down. And then you place your sound on the top of your thighs to add on a little bit more weight. Um, if you are more like stronger mommies or daddies, then you can reach in your uh, sons to sit on your shoulders and you do squat. I also mm. saw your Instagram video <laughs> where you're reaching your daughter up. That's like, of course, that's super strong, but not every daddy can do that. Yeah. Um, but all this kind of thing, just use them as the bot as the weight, which is actually perfect, right? <laughs> um, just to just to incorporate them more, and then they they will think it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. So just just don't think that they are getting in the way. Mm. Try to think of creative ways to incorporate them. Um, then they will have fun, and you will feel that much less frustrated as well. Yeah, absolutely agree. You know, I think um, it's also a good way to teach them about discipline and persistence. Yeah. Because if if you give up, then they give up, right? And but if they yeah. see you you push on, then they'll also push on. So yeah, a very good lesson. Uh, yeah. So you know, so some of the exercise ideas that uh, I see mentioned here. You know, I'll, I'll put a link. Uh, in the description or the caption here, you can find uh, Icy's profile. Uh, you can go check out the exercises that she regularly posts, uh, especially on Instagram. Okay. <laughs>